You may ask the question, well, why not just take a picture of an area instead of going through all the trouble of making maps and atlases? Well, a map is different from a photograph that is taken from the air because a photograph captures virtually everything that there is to be seen on the ground. So look at this map of New Providence over here to the left. It's an aerial photograph and we see everything that's going on, almost everything that's going on. We see the houses, we see buildings, we see development, we see vegetation, we see harbors and, and whatnot. Whereas the map over here to the right is also a map of New Providence, but we're not seeing as much detail. And even though it's not as much detail, sometimes this is exactly what we need in order to achieve the goal. So take a look at both of these maps. Take a minute to look at both of these maps and study how they are similar and how they are different. I'll give you a few seconds to, to look at it and think about it. If you need more time, you can simply pause the video. So how are they similar? When we look at both of these maps, we see that both maps are orientated in a very similar fashion where Paradise Island is located in, in somewhat of a northern um, location north of the island or northeast. And here it's, it's well, it's a little more north, but it's a slightly similar orientation. Another similarity is the maps are showing the entire island. Both maps are showing the entire island. Some maps only show a section, but both of these maps are showing the entire island. And they're roughly almost about the same size. Another similarity is both of these maps are showing water bodies. It's showing that the, the land is surrounded completely by water and that very near to the coastline is a body of shallow water. But as you go out further, the water becomes deeper. And so we see that represented on this map, but we also see it here on this map with the lighter color blue right close to the coast and the darker color blue as you go further out. Both maps show the lake, the lake in the middle there, and both maps show some roads, but this is where the differences come in. On the map here is showing a pattern of roads, but because it's a photo that's showing development and buildings as well, you can hardly see the roads in the very developed areas, but we can see the roads in the areas where it's um, vegetation surrounding, surrounding it. But on the map to the right, we can see the road, sh the road structure much more clearly because it is a road map. It's meant to help a person find a location from one place to the next. And so I would say that another difference is that the map on the right is more useful. It's more useful for, for one purpose in particular, which is to go from location A to B, whereas the aerial photograph aerial photograph is not useful for that at all. A person can easily get, get lost trying to find one location from the next using the aerial photograph as a road map. So this is why we don't just take pictures, but instead we make maps to represent different things about different places.